DJ here with Achieve Peak, and today we're going to be doing a resistance band chest workout. So for this workout, we're going to be doing six total exercises, and we're going to do them in groups of supersets. We're going to do three sets of each superset. Our working time is 40 seconds. Our break time is 20 seconds. And in between the groups of supersets, we'll then take a 40 second extended break. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for bands or a workout routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. Now let's get to work. We have about 30 seconds until we get started. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start that now. And then I'm going to demonstrate our first exercise. So the first thing we're going into is going to be a standing incline press. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to wrap the band around my foot and then from there I'm actually going to step through it, bring it up and then spread my feet apart, get a nice split stance and I'm going to push up and out simulating an incline bench press. So here we go. Good controlled movements. Again, you're pressing up and out. We're not just going straight up. That's arm or that's shoulders. We're going up and out, try to work the upper chest. Here we go. At the top, I like to kind of bring mine together and then come back down. Here we go. Good controlled movements here. There we go. Get that squeeze at the top. Come all the way down. Come back up. Here we go. Good controlled movements. Last one. There we go. Bring it down nice and controlled. And then we're going to go into a standing chest press here. So for chest press, I'm going to grab my band, wrap it around my back. And then from here, we're literally just going to press out and then come back. There we go. So it's smart here to keep your elbows a little bit down at the most, about a 45 out from the body. You don't want your shoulders coming all the way up like that because the band is going to slide off your shoulders and arms. Again, when I'm pressing out, bringing my hands together, getting that squeeze, getting that full contraction of the chest. Here we go. Feel it catch fire. Let's go. Push it out. Come on, last one. There we go. Going back into the incline. Going back into the incline here. So again, wrap it around the foot. I like to wrap it around because that heel is going to come up off the ground. And the last thing I want to do is uh, to have the band slide out from under my foot here. Here we go. Let's get ready. Incline. So as you can see, I got a nice wide split stance. It's help creating that uh, incline. Here we go. Feel the chest. Focus on the chest when you're doing these. Again, you don't want your elbows flared out. Bring the arms together. Squeeze the chest. Here we go. Embrace that burn. Come on. There we go. Feeling good. All right, going into uh, chest press again. Almost done with the second set here. Grab the band, wrap it behind. You could also wrap it through your armpits instead on the outside of your arms. There we go. Push and squeeze. Push. So if you want, you could just push straight out like this. You could even just bring them together, tap your uh, thumbs or knuckles together, or you can alternate, cross all the way over, get that squeeze, and then alternate which hand is on top. There we go, getting that full contraction of the chest here. Woo! Come on, let's go. Let's get one more. There we go. Chest is heating up. Going back into incline here. 
Again, wrap it. Wrap the band around the foot. <sighs> it may be risky with some things. Not that. Here we go. Step through. <laughs> nice wide split stance. There we go. And then press. <sighs> Again, if you want with these, if you want, you can just go straight up. Come back down. Keep your arms the same distance apart the whole time. Or you can bring them up and together. Here we go. Let's go. Remember we're pushing up and out, not straight up. Let's go, feel it in that upper chest. Let's get one more. There we go. All right, last one here. Chest press. Here we go, moving right along. Let's get ready, a couple seconds. Here we go. Push it out, get the squeeze, come in. Get the squeeze, feel that chest contract, feel it right down the center line. Let's go. Oh yeah. Come on, push it out. Push it. Couple reps left. Last one here. Woo! Here we go. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into a decline press. There we go. All right, so for decline press, we're gonna take our band again, wrap it around our back. This time you might wanna get it a little bit higher on your shoulders than normal. And then from here, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna press it down and out. So just like that, down and out. Here we go. Let's get ready, we got a couple seconds left. Five seconds left on this break and then we're going into decline press. Here we go. Let's go. So I like to cross mine. So when I go down, I get across. And again, I alternate which one's going across. There we go. Or you can even just push straight down if you want. Here we go. Come on. Let's go. One more. There we go. Okay, we're going to alternating crossover here. So for the crossover, what I like to do is just put on one foot. And then uh, from here, I'm going to get a split stance, but they're also going to be wide. So you can see they're out and spread apart. And then from here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it up and over. There we go. So... Put your hand that's not being used, put it on the chest. That way you can feel, focus on the squeeze here. So you can play with where your palm's facing. You might have your palm facing to the side and come up. You might have your palm facing up and then bring it across. Try to keep your, I find if I keep my elbow down, not flared, it works more of the chest, less of the arm. Let's go. And then try not to, Turn your body too much. Here we go. Come on. There we go, going back into decline press. So we'll switch arms on the crossover next one. Let's go. Moving right along. Get the band right again, get a little bit higher up on the shoulder so it's easier to press down with. There we go. Come on, let's go. Get the squeeze. Come on, squeeze. Really feel it in the chest. Kind of get a little hold down there. There we go. Ah, 
squeeze. Here we go, focus on the chest. Ah, get a little hold. Let's go. Ah, one more. Ah, whoo, here we go. Going into alternating or uh, crossover again. Here we go. So again, nice split stance here. And then I'm gonna bring it up and over. This time I'm going to the right side. The next one we'll do both, so we'll just split it in half. Here we go. Just so you can see from the side. Here, there we go. Again, play with your arm. See, see where your elbow out or in, palm up or facing away. Here we go. Put that free hand up there. Feel the chest squeeze. There we go. Come on. Bring your arm across the body. So you're bringing the arm across the midline too. Just like that. There we go. Going back into our decline press here. Got a good sweat going on now. Came on quick. Here we go. Let's get ready for decline. There we go. Here we go. Press down, cross it over, get a nice squeeze. Every rep this time, we're gonna get a nice squeeze down there. Squeeze the chest. Get that contraction. Here we go. Feel the chest, focus on it. There we go. Come on, 10 seconds left. Let's get two more reps. One. There we go. All right, going into crossovers. So I'm gonna start with the left side. Halfway through, I'm gonna switch to the right side real quick. Again, get a nice split uh, split stance. Try to keep the elbow in. There we go, and then bring the arm across the body and up. Focus on the chest up here. Here we go. Squeeze. Squeeze, you don't need a ton of resistance for these. After this one, we're gonna switch. There we go, let's switch sides real fast. Here we go. Bring it up and across. Again, free hand on the chest. Feel it. If you're feeling it a lot in your shoulders, you may need to drop down in resistance. Come on. There we go. All right, we got a 40 second break and then we're going into kneeling flies on the left side. So one at a time. So this set we'll do left, right, left, right. All right, here we go. Let me grab the right band. I need you to come off there. Thank you. Okay, so for kneeling flies, wrap the band around your foot, and then you can keep some tension on it. From there, we're gonna drop down to a knee, push that leg back. We're gonna get into like a hip flexor stance, push forward. That way from here, we can get the fly. And that way when we're back in the fly, we still have resistance on the band because if you're just here when you come here the band there's no resistance so we're not getting any work in there bring it up and across here we go again free hand on the chest get that squeeze get that squeeze here we go come on squeeze across come on let's go ah. Two more reps. One. Last one. There we go. All we're doing now, switching sides. So take it off. Make sure, again, to wrap the band around your foot. Just like that. That way, no matter which way I pull it, the band is not coming off. Again, getting into our hip flexor stretch here. And then bringing it up and across. 
So we're not doing a traditional press. We're not bending at the elbow and then pushing out. The elbow is slight bend and then it's locked in place. And then we're bringing it over. Here we go. Let's go. Feel it. Again, you can kind of move your elbow down, move it up. See what works your chest the most. Here we go. Last one. Here we go. Switching sides. Feeling good. Wrap the band around. Here we go. Keep tension on it. Don't have it on the inside of your leg like I just did. Here we go. Come on. Set two. Here we go. So if you want, you can kind of see, well, my band actually came off. That's what I get for not keeping it tight. There we go. Come on. Let's go. Push it out. Get the squeeze. Squeeze it across. Make sure to cross the center line of the body. Squeeze the chest. Squeeze. Last one. Squeeze. Woo. There we go. All right, switching sides. There we go. Make sure that when you're kicking your leg back that you keep tension on the band the whole time. Don't let it get loose like that. Keep it nice and tight. There we go. Here we go. Good controlled movements here. Squeeze the chest. Put that hand up there. Feel the chest work. Feel it across. There you go. So when it comes across, really feel that chest. Let's go. You can bring it a little lower if you want. See where it works. Feel a little bit in the bottom. You can come across the top a little higher or more in the center. Here we go. Last one. Here we go. All right, going into set three right here. We got one on each side and then we are done. Go. Make sure to wrap it around. Keep it nice and tight. There we go. Let's get ready. Push it out. Here we go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Focus on the chest. Come on. Let's go, push it. Push it out. Let's go. Bring it across and squeeze. Bring it across and squeeze. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Last one here. Got Bruce barking in the background. Male ladies picking up some orders of resistance bands. Bruce likes to. Tell her he's here. Quiet, boy. Here we go. Last one right here. Let's go. Push it out. Get that squeeze. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. Squeeze. Bruce. 20 seconds, let's go. Come on. Let's go bring it all the way across. Squeeze the chest. Let's go. Come on, push it out, let's go. Last one. Woo, here we go. Feeling good. All right, if you want what we can do, let's do this. We got a little secret set right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our band, go into a standing chest press, and then we're just gonna press it out for as long as possible. See how long you can go. Uh, let's get the little crossover here. Come on. 
Fully exhausted chest. Let's go. Push it out. Embrace the burn. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Couple more reps. Ah, squeeze. Come on, here we go. Let's get three more. Two more. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. A little final burnout set. Woo. Chest is feeling pumped. Hope you enjoyed that. If you did, smash that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. And if you're looking for bands or a routine, check out our store at shop.achievepeak.com. See you guys.